Hey guys, and welcome to game number 35 out of 100 of my Human vs. AI series, where I'm taking on the AI-powered Scrabblebot best spot in a 100 game match. We're currently at 15 wins, 19 losses, so 4 games behind best spot. We've been right about 4 games behind for a while now, so hoping we can get on a nice streak and maybe even up the series. So hopefully we can get a win today and get that started. And this is a pretty nice way to start the game off. We've got an S and a blank, as well as the Z. Probably going to be a little bit tough to bingo to start things off with both the Z and the K on our rack, but hopefully what we'll be able to do is score a bit with the Z and then maybe bingo on our next turn. But it's going to depend a lot, of course, on what Best Bot does on its first turn, as uh, it is first this game. I don't think there are any possible 8s I could get. I'm close to some 8s, like Zelkovas or Klezmers, perhaps. But don't believe with this exact rack there are any possible eights, at least none of them seeing now. It's certainly possible I'm missing something, but uh, yeah, it's going to be tough because I feel like I'm going to need at least one, if not two more vowels. But yeah, hopefully, depending on what the bot does, maybe I'll just be able to play Zoril, like Z-O-R-I-L or something like that through an I, even Zek, Z-E-K, or Zerk, Zonk. Just something that ideally gets rid of the Z and scores a decent number of points and Leaves me in a good position to bingo, hopefully, on my next turn. But we will see. Best by the, as it seems to do quite a lot, is taking a while on its opening play. One interesting thing to think about is if the bot were to exchange, would I want to burn the blank here and try to score like 50 points? Maybe with something like Zorl. It probably would be worth it because my options that don't use the blank are actually pretty weak. Like, I mean, I certainly don't have any fives that don't use the blank, and I don't think I can e even get rid of the Z without using the blank, unless I'm missing something. Okay, well, there the bot goes. It plays Avo for 12. So, I guess I could play Zoa. I mean, it's not bad. It does keep four consonants, which is not ideal, but it's still not bad. I mean, as long as I can draw one vowel, I've got a really good chance at bingo in next turn with KLRS blank. Could also play Lark, I guess. Keeps a vowel. It's a lot fewer points. It's 14 fewer points. And I mean, SOZ blank is obviously a very good leave, but it's not all that likely to bingo. And I think I'd rather, early in the game, I feel like my plan should be more to try to bingo, given I have an S in a blank, rather than just try to score with the Z. That just feels a little bit too slow. So I feel like Zoa is probably the better way to go here. And yeah, like I said, as long as I draw one vowel, I should be in pretty good shape, I would imagine, to bingo next turn. So let's play Zoa. All right, well, I got two vowels, so definitely going to be bingoing here. I mean, Sleeker, Kestrel, Skelter, a num number of possibilities. Kernels, I mean, I'm sure there's many more, too. But the best one... Oh, now it's funny. I actually do have that word I was talking about before of uh, Klezmers through that Z and Zoa which I was uh, looking at being close to on my previous turn. So, well, I don't have it anymore, so I'm going to probably have to play something with Avos, is my guess. It's worth mentioning OI does take the L as well as the K, but it's hard to imagine anything ending in, like, LO or KO. I mean, I could, yeah, there's something like this. This is actually, I mean, honestly, it's not, like, the worst play ever. It's 20 points, and it keeps ERS blank. It makes a super potent S setup with the Coel Soak. Like, it's probably not worth it over just bingoing immediately with Avos, but it's honestly not much worse at all, just because it really significantly limits Best Spot's possibilities, especially if it doesn't have an S, and it keeps such a good leave. Like, it's, it's actually worth considering, at least briefly, but I'm probably just better off scoring 70 or so now. So Skelter is probably my highest scoring play. I don't really want to give back that S hook. I mean, I play like Ivy. I don't know if the bot has an S, but there's a decent enough chance it does. That especially if I'm taking a lead, I don't really want to do that. I think I'd rather play up here. I don't know if I can get a K on or get the K on one of the double letters. Like I, I don't want to see. I don't want to play Kelters either because of the front S hook. But maybe. Uh, Maybe kernels? It's not bad. 
Do I have anything else that would put the K on the double letter? Kestrel, Kelters, Skelter, Leakers. I don't see it yet. Keglers. That's actually a little bit better than Kernels, I think, just because the G is tougher to overlap, and it's a worse floater for the bot. So Keglers is the best thing I see so far there. I'm just going through the alphabet in my head, seeing if I might be missing something, but I don't see it off the top of my head. Sleeker, but that doesn't... Well, that would play, but I'd rather play up here, I think. Yeah, all right, I'm okay with Keglers. Let's go ahead and play that. Like I said, a little bit of a point sacrifice over Skelter. I'm giving up four points, but I'm not giving back a Mammoth S-Hook. I'm being a lot more defensive, which I would prefer to do, giving them up by 72 points. And I draw quite well here. I'm... Well, I'm still uh, threatening Axe for 52, which is probably the right play. I mean, it's 52 points. It's pretty rare that you have a 52-point play with an X, and it's not correct. I mean, Pax scores pretty healthily. It scores 36 and gets rid of an extra consonant, but 16 points is certainly too much to give up for that marginal difference in leave. So, yeah, I don't have, like, a disconnected E and N for expanding or anything like that. So that looks... Pretty good. Okay. Draw another I and another N. I get an O, I have pointing. P-O-I-N-D-I-N-G. Right now, I'm really liking the way this board is looking. There are extremely few places to bingo. Really, the best bingo line is actually probably this D. So, I was going to say I might consider something like poking to block that D. But now I can't do that. And... Yeah, I mean, there are not a lot of places to go here. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't want to do something like this, right? I mean, there's three S's on the scene. I have a lead. That's definitely foolhardy. What do I even have to this D? Not a whole lot. Like, I don't think I want to do something like that. I mean, I don't know. Like, this would be a pretty funny play. It is the best spot for a bingo by far on this board. The the D is. I mean, there's still lays here. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. This can't be correct. Is it really? Do I not have anything better to this D or like to this okay? No key doesn't work. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to just make an opening on the right could play, and like even this opens up some stuff I'm not really dying to do. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Gid just, it seems a little too paranoid. It's still very early in the game. Maybe did is better? Keep the G? For ING words? I mean, Gid is harder to overlap though, right? Because then I have to put an I or an O below it. I don't know, that just... It's such an equity sacrifice. The thing is, like, there are no good options here for equity. Like, playing is probably my best equity option. It's not that good. So, I don't know. The thing is, it's it's just not that hard for, probably, for the bot to... I mean, it's actually not that easy for the bot to reopen this board in a way that's hard to block. Like, if the bot plays down the L column over here next to Fry making something with RE, it's probably going to give back a lot of counterplay here. And it's not that easy to start a bingo with an S with lays, and if it does, it's not going to score very much, and it's also going to give back a lot of counterplay, so maybe? I mean, bingos to the D are not that hard to hit, and they're going to score a lot more than anything else. Like, it's pretty hilarious looking play, but I actually think I might do it. Like, there's really not nothing that's so good here. And I do think blocking the D at this score on this board has a, a pretty good amount of value. So I don't know, guys. I mean, this is pretty uncharacteristically defensive play for me, but this is a pretty uncharacteristically defensive board. So I think I'm going to do it and force the bot to take the chance and open it up. And I mean, yeah, the problem is obviously it's not like I have a great rack over here. So, but I have a decent enough rack. I have Pundit, Unpinned, so if the bot opens something, I should have some sort of response. Alright, yeah, Planche comes down, so 
Making a little bit of an opening. Um, Dunlin? No, that doesn't fit. Lupin? That's a bit too open, I think. Eh, uplit keeps two ends. Yeah, I guess the, I just don't really have all that much here. Putts? Also keeps two ends. Huh. Maybe Lunt? It's not terrible. I mean, D-I-N-P is not, not the worst leave. Doesn't really open all that much. Don't hate that. Yeah, I mean, I could play fun to try to set up the eye for fun die, but there's still six eyes and three S's on the scene. I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, I don't really like putts keeping two ends. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't... Oh, maybe... No, unlit? I mean, that's not terrible either, actually. Yeah, it's four more points than Lunt. It does get rid of my only vowel. But there's enough eyes and there's other vowels on the scene. I think that's fine. Yeah, I feel like for four points it's worth it to get rid of the eye here. It's not really doing me much good on this board, the eye. So, yeah, let's play unlit. All right, that's not a bad rack. Well, now I'm very glad I got rid of the eye because I got two more. I think three eyes is always a very dreadful situation to be in. So, yeah, I mean, right now I, I like the way this game is going. I'm up 45 points, and this board is terrible. I mean, it's just very hard to really score anything. Yeah, Nabot just plays NAE for 13. And I'm still not particularly inclined to open stuff if I can help it. Like, I'd, especially now that I've got a, a pretty strong bingo rack, I'd sort of rather force the bot to open it. Like, I don't, I don't think I really, I mean, I don't know. I don't think I really want to do that. This set up ripe. I have a very nice leave of diner. It's aggressive for sure. Eh, yeah, I mean, I could also play Finn, any number of things there, but I, I don't want to just give back bingos, especially after I've been, like, I don't, I don't think it makes sense to just all of a sudden switch tactics at this point. Like, I'm pretty invested into playing my tight game here. I mean, just TI isn't the worst. Maybe PIU. The P isn't great on this board. This, this should bingo a bit more often. I think that's fine. I mean, like I said, just kind of keep it tight. And at some point, Best Pot's going to have to open it, and then hopefully I can bingo back. That's, I think, the best way to try to handle this. So, yeah. I mean, I think I, I, think I like this idea. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do it. All right, so I have Nardine, N-A-R-D-I-N-E, which doesn't play right now, but it might if I get an opening. <laughs> Just AE for 12. Well, no bingos from the A. I do have Aaron Neid, which I should probably do. It scores points. It does open a bit of a line for sevens on the left, but it's not the easiest line. You it's Because it's not that easy to overlap an I. And otherwise you have to start with a vowel. Burns through tiles for the blank and S's still left. There's, I mean, in this board it's hard enough to bingo. There's not really a good reason to hold on to all these one-pointers to try to bingo. So I think I, yeah, I think I'm going to go for it. Just like I said, play off a bunch of tiles, score as many points as I can, hopefully get some S's or the blank. That's not what I wanted. That's definitely not what I wanted. Hmm. All right, well, at least, I mean, if it stays open, I can play something like Newt. We'll see if it does stay open. That was definitely not the draw I wanted at all. Wow, just a Utah. I should probably take this opportunity to exchange, because yeah, now I don't really have anything with my W there. This has just been an extremely passive game. Amazingly so. Yeah, I think I got a trade here. Uh, keep... Do I just keep ENRT? Probably. I mean, there's that very good bingo line on the left, and that should respond very well to anything he might have. So let's keep that. Okay. That second R is a bit annoying. Maybe I should... I don't know. 
There's there are only two R's left, so I think keeping the R was fine. Probably just play Rex next turn if the bot doesn't bingo. I don't know if I have any. Well, I guess I have. Wow. <laughs> this is getting wild. This game. <laughs> super super strange game. Untarred is not a word. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Rex. Like this is a really good leave. I'm not. I, I can't really block this very effectively without giving something back and. It's not worth it. If the bot bingos, I'll hopefully have an 8 or something back. I mean, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I have under 8 or under eat from this U. I don't have any 7s, but a ton of things will give me 8s, too, in addition to the ones I just mentioned. Are you kidding me? The bot blocked my 8s. <laughs> this is just a ridiculous game, guys. I mean, I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't have a bingo here, right? Like, I don't think so. <laughs> Just play, like, DE or delay? Maybe delay, not to give back plays on the top. <laughs> Maybe NE? I don't even know. I'm not opening anything, that's for sure. <laughs> This is just ridiculous. I also, I don't, I'm down to eight minutes. I should probably play a little faster. I mean, I, I don't, like, I don't, I don't want to give back a six over here, I don't think. Well, if he plays a six, I often will get an eight. There's still the queue, like, for Diquad and stuff. I don't know. I don't really want to leave that open. So I think maybe just delay is fine. Maybe NE, because the N is a little bit tougher to start with. But I kind of like keeping the N. I'm going to play delay. I think that's fine. Dang, it's another rack with no 7. So hopefully if the bot bingos, it'll give me an 8. We'll see. And notator is not good. Just all these racks with no 7s, that are very close to having 7s. This has just been an absolute... <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> this is wild, guys. I mean, wow. <laughs> Tentoria doesn't fit. Yeah, I'm going to just play TO. It scores reasonably well, too. Like I said, if the bot bingos, then I'm going to just hope to bingo back with an 8. This is just, I mean, a crazy game of chicken, unlike anything we've seen so far this series. This is crazy. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to do this. <sighs> Not what I wanted. Hmm. All right, well, I don't know if I can bingo. I have Betatron with an O. Doesn't work. Batiner. Dang it. All right, well, at least I have Bent. Or Bat, B-A-T-T. -T. I think I like Bent. There's, I have the last A, and there's still some E's. A-R-T is a nice leave. I'm actually still going to be in the lead after this, which is good. I just irritated, and I couldn't get a bingo, though. But, yeah, that seems reasonable. Still in fine shape here. All right, I've got the blank, which is nice. Some consonants, though, to go with it. I mean, yeah, this... A lot can still happen here. I mean, there's still three S's left, too. And uh, and a Q. Pull is a little consonant-heavy. Yeah, no A's left. I could see something like jog. Gets back an S hook, though, so I don't know. We'll see what about does. This has just been an extremely bizarre game in many ways. Wow, bot opens a lot with Shoral. Probably just Jow? Jow or Jog? Probably Jow. The G should bingo more than the W. It scores a few more. Yeah, I mean, hopefully I can just hit a bingo from that L and win the game on my next turn. I think that's fine. Dang it! Got the stupid Q again. Did not want that at all. So I guess I could either trade it again. I could burn the blank and play Cots for 45. Which I'm not super enamored of. With multiple eyes unseen and not having a vowel. Well, that's going to depend on what the bot does. 
I mean, there's still two U's left. The problem is, like, even with a U, it's not that easy to play the Q on this board. Score is very close. I'm only up two. Numb comes down. I kind of feel inclined to trade QFG. If I keep ART blank in this pool, I feel pretty good about my chances of bingoing. And I just don't really think I want to play COTS. Keep FRG. I guess, yeah, I, I mean... The thing is, right, okay, like, if I trade and the bot bingos, then if I bingo back, that might not be enough. But then if the bot draws the Q, because, like, if I trade the Q and the bot bingos, it'll have a 70%, 7 out of 10 chance of drawing the Q. It'll be the favorite to draw the Q and probably lose, then, if it bingos. So I think I should trade, because, yeah, if I play COTS, then especially if I draw a bunch of consonants... I might even be in trouble without a bingo, especially if the bot has the S's. See, I think trading is correct here. Let's trade QFG. Still not a great draw, to be honest. I mean... Wow. Do I have a bingo here? Argument, Argentum... I must, right? I mean, do I want to bingo if I can bingo, though? That's, that's actually the bigger question. Do I want to bingo? I might not. Uh, Agoratum, argument. A, C, D, E, F. Huh. I don't see a bingo from the top of my head. But like I said, I'm not even sure. I mean, yeah, if the bot has... Well, the bot has seven tiles. So it's probably going to come down to whether I... If it has selenites, then that could be a problem. I mean... Huh. I don't, I don't think I can just play gum, because that takes the S. Do I really not have a bingo here? I feel like I must. What if I, like, fish off the G? Because then, even if it gets down QIS, then probably bingos mostly would win? I don't know. QIS is a decent number of points. This is a pretty tough position. Hmm. How about mug? Also keeping the U so that if I draw the Q, I can bingo. That maybe looks promising. Yeah, because I could maybe draw like Quatours or something. Or equator under the B. Yeah, okay, I think I like this. It does block a little bit on the left, and I, I do have this line starting with an M, too. Like M A, M I, or something. But I don't think I have anything there now. I'm not missing something. So yeah, there is some merit to keeping the M. It's just not that easy without E's left to hit something there. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Mug. Definitely makes things a bit tough for the bot. Hmm. That's not a good draw. But we'll see what the bot has here. If the Q is in the bag, then things could get a little bit interesting, maybe? Huh. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I have a bingo, unfortunately. Feature doesn't work. Up, updraft. Doesn't play. Dang it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that there is, uh, there's no bingo here, which is probably gonna mean I'm gonna lose. But we'll see. See what the bot does. Hard to, hard to say for sure. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if Mug was correct. Maybe I, should they have tried to like Q stick it? I don't even know. Very hard to say. Yeah, the Q just really killed me this game. I had to trade it twice. Yeah, I mean, I guess if the bot, if the bot doesn't, like if the bot has the Q without the I, that could be annoying. Then I don't know if it's going to want to play QI. See, I don't, I mean, I don't think there's any way I can win without bingoing, right? Like with frauds or something, I doubt it. Yeah, because if the bot doesn't have the S, it's going to get it. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, featured fur K did. There's eights, but they don't fit. And yeah, updraft doesn't work. I feel pretty confident I'm not missing something. I wish there was something here. Yeah, outdraft is not good. Don't know what else. Not taking its time here. It should it's one in the bag, so it should be able to solve it exhaustively, I would think. But we'll see what it does. Yeah, I mean, if it doesn't have the Q, it's probably just gonna play like Vogs, and then I mean, it's not gonna be stuck because it'll have QI next to the S in Selenite, and also next to the IT in Selenite. If it has the Q. I mean, it might not even play the Q if it has it. So, yeah, we'll just have to see what it does. Still, like, looking for bingos here, hoping I maybe miss something. But, yeah, no, there it is. There's vlogs, as I figure. And, yeah, like I said, I can't stick it with the Q. I mean, I'm, I'm not even going to try out draft. Like, I just know it's not a word. If, I mean, if I thought there was any chance, then I would try it, but it's it's just not a word. So there's really no point. Shoot. Yeah, I mean, there's just no nothing else. Like I said, updraft doesn't fit. And it's going to get QI down. So, yeah, it's really just a matter of what's my best out to. How about uh, maybe Tuft and then Drams? That actually looks pretty good because it stops the higher score in QI. Yeah, if I do Tuft and then go out with Drams for a lot next turn. That's probably my best bet. Oh, well, actually, I, yeah, I allowed QI there, so maybe that was sloppy. But Drams is 35. That's still a lot, so I think that's still fine. Yeah, maybe I could have done a little bit better, but either way, I, d I definitely wasn't winning. Yeah, that was a frustrating loss. 423, 366. Uh, I just want to make sure I didn't miss a bingo on either of those last couple of turns, but I feel pretty confident I didn't. Uh, yeah, no, no bingos. There's some nice plays here, which are possibly a little bit better, but I don't know. How about this? Yeah, nothing here either. I mean, I didn't really want to empty the bag. I feel like then if I have a bingo, the bot's just being able to block it. And it even with the Q out, it just seemed hard to win without bingoing. I'm down 73. Like, even if I Q stick it, it's going to have enough tiles that I figured it would win in the end game. Like, I just don't really think I can empty the bag. This is actually not a crazy play. It scores a bit more. The problem is it just keeps a very constant heavy leave. And just with this pull, it's it's tough to bingo. I, I honestly, I don't think Mug is that bad a play. It's very hard to know for sure. If I just draw on one vowel, like if I drew... If I blank, then I, I probably would have had something, or ID blank. Like, I would have had auditor. Like, I was pretty close to getting something. So I think that's fine. Let's go back to the beginning, though. This was, man, this was a tough game. Yeah, Zilla looks good in my first turn. Okay, yep, so Skelter, as I said, is 73, but I'm perfectly fine with my decision to sacrifice four points for defense here. I think that's very reasonable. Axe looks good. Yeah, how about here? I mean, gosh, maybe, maybe Gid, I don't know. I mean, maybe I just open, like, maybe I should just play playing. I don't know. I mean, it's it's a lot better than Kid on equity. I mean, the equity is horrendous here, obviously. 
But like I said, just in this position, it, it felt the D was really the only big threat. And I have a lead. I don't know. This is very non-standard, especially for me. Maybe I should just, you know, figure that at some point, sooner or later, this board will open. Like, it's so early that it's unlikely the game's going to get, like, passed out. Like, I should probably just figure at some point it's going to open. And this is maybe just too big an equ equity sacrifice. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should have just uh, played playing. And then, yeah, here... I didn't really want to do Lupin and give back Lupine and this nice line on this C column. There's nothing great. I think Unlit is fine here. Yeah, I think Gid was maybe a little bit too paranoid. And yeah, here, once again, I mean, there's... All these plays just open a lot, so I, I'm sacrificing a ton. But not a, not all that much, because this is such a strong leave. And I think I just got kind of burned that I could never bingo. Despite all these openings. And yeah, I mean, I think Araneid is correct here. Uh, no, definitely not. Not keeping QRT and creating another line. No way. Trading for sure. And yet here there's nothing. No, there's no way I'm doing that. I think Rex is fine. I think I'm actually not playing that badly. Yeah, and then here, I mean, again, I think I think delay is fine. It keeps AENRT. Like, I have a very good chance at drawing a 7 or hitting an 8. And yeah, the bot is just going right along with it. We both have these good leaves that we're just unable to hit. And then finally the bot hits, and I, I just drew BT and couldn't bingo. So definitely a bit of a tough break, I feel like. But look, I was still in pretty good shape. I mean, I had HERT blank. I was feeling very good about things, and then I drew the stupid Q again. I mean, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Do I, maybe I play Fug and keep the Q for Cots? I, I don't know. I just felt like I said, if I, if I keep ART blank, I, uh, I felt like I was almost certain to bingo. And I didn't really want to play... Like I guess I, I take a 30-point lead with Cots, but I keep FRG. If I draw some consonants, and even if the bot just plays like Vig and ties the game, I could easily be in a lot of trouble. I wanted to keep this, and I figure I'll just bingo next turn. And the bot bingos, and I just didn't have a bingo. Like, I don't know. I mean, I think Mug is fine. Like I said, it also keeps the U, and if I draw the Q, I, I'm going to threaten a lot of stuff like Quadre and Quatours and... Maybe even other scoring plays. Like, I think I think Mug is not a terrible play. Keeping the both vowels seems pretty important. And the, the G and the M are definitely the clunkiest tiles with this pool. And I score some points, at least. I stay within easy range if I bingo. So, I don't know, guys. I Gid was maybe too paranoid. I'm not sure. Gid may have been too paranoid. Otherwise, I kind of feel like I played reasonably well here. I don't know. I mean, these games where it's just so tight and you have a little bit of a lead and it's a game of chicken are so hard. I, I do think I got a little bit unlucky when I couldn't hit a bingo and then the bot finally hit a bingo and I was sort of counting on that counter bingo with my good leave and didn't hit one. I do think that was a little bit of a bad break, but, you know, I did get both blanks, so I can't complain all that much, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Brutal game. Very, very tough loss to... Uh, to stomach. But like I said, I mean, I don't think I made any glaring mistakes. Like, Gid might be a mistake, but there was definitely some merit to why I played it. So, yeah, I don't know what to say, guys. I mean, I'm not too unhappy with how I played it. I'm definitely not happy. I, I have a very bad, bad taste after this loss. It just feels like a game I should have won. I can't exactly say, oh, this is where I should have won it, but it just feels like a game I should have won because I was kind of up the whole way. It was a bad board, and then, uh, then that wasn't true anymore, as is apt to happen sometimes against this bot. So, yeah, I don't know what else to say, guys. If you have any thoughts on where I might have went wrong, I'm uh, certainly open to feedback or, or ideas, as always. So let me know what you think about this game. But either way, I hope you found it interesting and uh, maybe learned something. So, yeah, I don't think there's much else to say here, so I'll leave it at that. But thanks, as always, for watching. appreciate all the support, and I will see you all soon for Game 36. Thanks for watching guys and have a good one. Bye bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. With the holiday season coming up, I wanted to remind you that I do offer Scrabble lessons and they can make a really fun gift if you have a family member or friend who loves Scrabble and might be interested in learning about tournaments or just having a fun experience while getting a few tips on taking their game to the next level. If you might be interested, then click the image right here, which will take you to the lessons page of my website, which also has some additional information and reviews from past players who have given lessons. If you might be interested or have any further questions, feel free to contact me on my website or on my email, both of which I'll post in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys.